little ASMR action. Have you guys tried the new um, raspberry spice Coke? It's so good. I love anything raspberry though, but obviously this is not an ad. I'm not at sponsorship level quite yet. I have a pint and a pickled egg. If you wish to be the king of the jungle, it's not enough to act like a king. You must be the king. There can be no doubt. I didn't even know Matthew McConaughey was in this. I don't I don't know anything about this movie, I'll be honest. Who's there? Roz, who's there? Expect to see him here. Ching, ching. Buenos tardes, Ramundo. I've got a meeting on Saturday at your favorite newspaper. They are ready to put 150 grand in my pocket to give him some filth. Good for me, that. But in this case, it's bad for you. Hang on. That's. S sorry, I'm completely flabbergasted. That's Hugh Grant? Wow, you know what? If I hadn't seen the name, I don't think I would have recognized him because of the voice change and... Wow. I can't believe it! ...of Tasty Mates. He's out. Sorry, I'm gonna pause again. I can't... I've never heard a voice change from him before. This is the first time I, I think I've heard him do an accent. That It's such a transformation just with the voice change. That's crazy. What the fuck are you talking about? If you would be so kind as to furnish me with 20 million British pounds, I will give you everything and a modest little screenplay i wrote all by myself we just went from 150,000 pounds to 20 million that's a steep rise in 30 seconds well thank god you're not greedy fletcher you deluded shit-eating cunt <laughs> i quite like it when you talk dirty to me i can feel myself engorging oh i'm gonna tell you a story to demonstrate why my quote is my quote and I've seen this through a lens I am, and I'm not talking about the small screen. It's not TV, Raymond. As I said, old school cinema format. Roll camera. Enter our protagonist. Oh, okay. His name is Mickey Pearson. Unique background has our Mickey. American born Rhodes Scholar. So he's born clever, but poor. But he never finished his education, never went home because he found his vocation. A naughty vocation. He's a bad boy. He was a hungry animal, you see. He was powerful and ruthless, but he had to do some naughty things to get where he got. Yeah. Well, that was the early days, and he cracked on with his new world pioneer spirit. What's he worth today? 100, 200, 500 million? Smash cut, please. To interior, a gala dinner. Snuck that one right by me, didn't you, naughty little girl? Oh, I like to make a splash whenever possible. They're like a pair of old doggies sniffing round one another's intellectual arseholes. If you let him in the hen house, you can expect blood and feathers everywhere. How does anyone grow 50 tons of super skunk without letting anyone else know how they do it? Mickey Pierce, the odious Yankee gangster we're gonna bury. He wants to ruin him, but I am here to do you a favor. So why has Big Dave got it in for my boss? Two months ago, your man Mickey made my man Dave feel like a right fucking idiot. Turns out, Dave had gone after one of Mickey's lords. It would appear that his lordship had had a quick spin on one of his attractive young footmen. So he snubbed him in front of a crowd that Dave could only wish he belonged to. Excuse us. Well, he might just as well have pulled Dave's cock off. I do believe that was a bit of a fuck off, Dave. Now, there is a reason why Matthew, or anyone else for that matter, cannot work out how Mickey does what he does. The problem with land in this country is there's not much of it. And the public have rights. Dog walkers. Yes, jog on. Right to roam. Bimblers, ramblers, badger lovers. 
and any other busy cunt with enough time on his hands to snip the green tweed of England. And then there's the helicopters, drones, Google Earth, heritage sites, parish councils, and the beat goes on. Toffs, aristocrats, dukes, duchesses, lords, and ladies. And every time you inherit a fortune, you lose half to the state. So this is my moment to swoop in like a guardian fucking angel and offer my services so they can keep their houses in order. As long as that cash keeps rolling in each year. 1,000 of these estates in the great UK. Bon chance trying to find them all. I want to see your plant. Wow. Watch your head. England's green and pleasant land. And I'm not greedy. You and I both know that 400 million is a fair to generous asking price. Especially considering that once this game's kosher, it's going to be worth somewhere between 200 billion and, well, half a trillion pounds. It's the new gold rush. If it's such a fat wedge, why don't you keep it? See, I've developed I was wondering. An enterprise like this will need a face with a clean past, which sadly, I do not possess. Now that we have established the dilemma of our protagonist, let us turn to our antagonist. Who are you talking about now? I talk, Raimondo, of dry eye. Oh, dry eye. What is he, Chinese, Japanese, Pekingese, get on your fucking knees, dirty dragon, filth. Bang, 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 bang. I'd love to stop you right there, Fletcher. That doesn't sound like the dry eye I know. Just making sure you're paying attention, Raymond. It's gonna be double bubble. D -d -d double bubble? A gentleman's quote is a gentleman's word. Anyway, let's put a pin in dry eye and turn again to Mickey. If you're thinking of smoking that in here, don't. Oh, I'm gone. Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right. Gone out, gone out. I think the time has come for me to introduce you to our queen. The only weak link in his otherwise impregnable armor, some would say his obsession with his beauteous lady wife. But you always could make a good cup of tea, Mickey. Very nice. What the fuck is going on in here? Well, go on then, put the kettle on. Look, I don't want you knocking around here feeling all unemployed and lost for yourself. Oh, fuck me. Most wives would beg their other halves to get out of this game, but not you. That's because I know you, darling. Don't you do anything messy. That's why you've got people, remember? Mm, I fucking love you, babe. Of course you do. So what is that? Is that a barbecue as well? Yes, it is, Fletcher. I love a barbie. Well, you can take it with you if you fuck off now. Ray, is there any chance of a steak? <laughs> yeah, all right. I've got a bit of Wagyu in the freezer as it happens. Ow, fuck me! Oh, my God. It's hot. <laughs> it's actual fire. <laughs> He's a sly fox, that Fletcher. I was wondering what secrets were hiding in that freezer. Okay, so what's the price? A meet with your husband. Oh, fuck off. Try he got his little sit down with Michael, didn't he? Bold move, that. By the dragon head himself, Lord George. Is he making moves? Is he breaking out on his own? How can I help? I hear you were getting out of the game. Look, let me stop you right there. And this is not a discussion for the two of us. Unlike the salt and pepper, it's not on the table. You are out of touch. This is a big fucking number. And this? Oh, this is a big fucking gun. Dry now, are they? Ah! You looking for your balls or a hole in the 
the wall. Fuck! Where the fuck do you think you're going? Ah! Talking to me about the laws of the jungle. What was it? Something about being beneath me, silver on back? There's only one rule in this fucking jungle. When the lion's hungry, he eats. That's not how Michael works. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just having a bit of fun. Every movie needs a bit of action, doesn't it? Yeah. Here lies the owl. I think your time's up, chaps. Michael, you should re- <laughs> Just marinate on it. In the meantime, fuck off. Do you want the top or the bottom? The bottom place, darling. Now, yeah, things started to unravel after that meeting. Go, 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 go. Why, days? Fucking no. Oi, turns off! Oh. Fancy a row? Oi, Mo! Any more rabbits in that, Warren? Why does it smell a wee in here? You got your mouthwash muddled up with cat piss. Take two steps back. You're up, bro. Yeah. You're up, Chef, you're fucking doing it. Fucking doing it. You're gonna stab, stab, trigger. Don't, you know, dance. I'm on fire over here, lads. Come on, I need some back and forth. Come on, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? Now make it quick. Make it funny. Fuck you. Jeez, that's disappointing. No, no, <laughs> not that. Go again. Yes. Yeah, oh, come on. Oh, shit. Ah! Come on, nigga, dickhead. Ah! Ah! Vinegar? Ah! Shit, my eyes. We've rung the bell here, and we're going to include you, because you're our mentor. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't like the sound of it. Come to me now, Ernie. Walk away. I'll be back in ten minutes. Take your chips with you. Might have to take off the door, pull up in the thing, go straight for the hole in the floor with a the toddler. They actually put their faces on there? Plants, not ten or twenty. He says Benny, because I never Benny. get cracked. Just know that we're leaving the room with every last penny. They call me ghost. Oh my god, they got... They're getting coach in trouble, that's for sure. Why are we watching fight porn, Ray? Because it's fight porn at one of my farms. No, that we come from the bottom of the slum of our own. High production value. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. Tell me you didn't put that fight porn online. Take it down. Now! I've got to say, I was impressed. The way they fought. They're on point, Governor. Whoever trained them knows what he's doing. Thank you. That's enough. No sooner do I entertain Matthew's offer to buy me out and reject Dry Eye's offer, does one of my farms get raided. First time ever. Doesn't feel like a coincidence, does it? It isn't. There's fuckery afoot. And who would be bold enough to make such a move, especially to film it all and then post it all online? I hear you might have had a little trouble. No trouble over here, Matthew. No trouble at all. And what might this be? It's a paperweight. It looks like a gun. And it's a paperweight. It means I'm going to have to close shop. Oh, I've, um, I've just learned we need a whole new roof, apparently. Mickey. The toffs look after Mickey. Now Mickey looks after the toffs. And when it rains, let me take care of the roof. It fucking pours. This is how Big Dave is going to bring Mickey down by using and abusing Lord Pressfield's much beloved child. Lord Pressfield's daughter, the famous and talented Laura, all self hate and arm, has fallen for this power Noel smacked out dark charm, and I want a lot of them. I like it. That you're good at this, boss. Yeah, I know what I'm good at, Amy. Fuck off. Aristocratic. Junkie, bulimic, auto-tune singing daughter, shacked up with some smacked out, once upon a time pop star, and all looked after by Mickey Pearson. I like it. I know where she is, and I don't like it. I'd rather we didn't get involved. Why not? Think of it as philanthropy. Come on, you're driving. This is where you step on stage and set the dominoes flying every fucking way. <laughs> Get the fuck out now. Ballsy. I can be dangerous if I want to be. Get the fuck out now. Sit down. Do you mind if I sit? Yes. <laughs> they got 
some balls on them, man. I don't build a joint like the Americans in the new school. I like a good old fashioned 50 50 mix, me. Barf. What could I lift? You couldn't lift a wheel of cheese, you can't. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, no. Are you ready to turn the corner? All right. Fucking hell. That was easy. It's a shithole anyway. Please wait! <laughs> oh. Dave. The kids in school for one minute. No, no, no. <gasps> On the arm? It's time for you to fuck off, lads. Oh, he's bought you a gun. That's a nice little gift. Five years in prison, all in one little box. Hello, Ray. Laura Pressfield has been returned home safely. She was just visiting, wasn't she? One of her associates had an accident. It's time for you to fuck off, lad. Ah! Oh, shit! That sounds like quite an extreme accident. Yeah, it's more like a death, really. So you killed someone? No, it was the gravity that killed him. <laughs> Who was it? Some Russian kid with tracks on his arms. Russian kid? That doesn't sound good. Selfie! 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 Shit! That's insane that that would be your reaction, to want to take a picture. Well, this is not ideal. It is not. Shit. You're fishing, Fletcher, because you've got no idea. Spazebo. Floor. <laughs> You couldn't back up a phone, you cunt. Bro, this guy's trying to take my phone. I'm sure you're all road men, gangsters, proper naughty boys. But I come in peace. How about you give us that bag? I'd be gone anyway. Stop fucking around, cunt! Right! Now, put the phone on the ground. What are you doing, Dave? Oh, hey, can I use your toilet? Carl, I wouldn't trust that man alone in my house. Inside, even by the door. <laughs> I mean, he's pretty fast to keep up with a bike. <laughs> Phone. Can I go home now? You know what? What she's like, uh, the song uh, Common People by Pulp. That's, she's a tourist like that. She's just in the world to visit, but she can go home anytime. Is there a problem here, Fletcher? I see no problem at all. Next time, call first. <laughs> Ernie. Did you get that Chinese fella's name? Where does he live? Posh Park Croydon. Drop the rope. There is no Posh Park Croydon. It's comparative, isn't it? Oi. Did he just call me a black cunt? Yes, he did. The fact that I'm black has nothing to do with the fact I'm a cunt. <laughs> Back to the issue at hand. I need that Chinese geezer's address, okay? I like how he had that rant and then he says Chinese geezer, like... And now you fucking tell me! Just tell me his name isn't Mickey Pearson. Blimey, coach, you're a gypsy too. You've been reading tea leaves, got a crystal ball. Feel free to talk. I gather you're the conciliarity of the outfit that my boys were stupid enough to fuck around with. So it's me that should be accountable for their actions. But I can't return the inconvenience, the time, the fucking headache. And so I offer you 
my loyalty until that debt is settled. First of all, I'm going to need to know how your lads got the information about where our farm was sighted. Well, I can do better than that. His name is Fahok, but it's spelled with a PH, so it sounds like Fahok. So it's Fahok? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, we've met before, haven't we, Fahok? Fuck. That's the one. Hey, my hater! Yeah, in a minute. I need you to tell me how you knew the location of our farm. I've been dreading you for months. I was given the address. I need that place! All right, Fahok, Kanda Fahok. Down. <laughs> here, here, look at me. Oh. You all right? Yeah. There you go, son. You all right? I think he's impressed. Idiot! Oh. Oh! Fuck's sake, Ray. You need to invest in some parachutes. There's a pattern emerging here. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I mean, who's this jumping fuck Lord George's man? Oh my God. I'm going to take care of this one myself. That's crazy. Oh, George, I'm watching the horse racing. My only vice. Well, that's not strictly true, is it? I'd say your eyebrows deep in every vice known to man. There is a difference. Being. I facilitate. I don't participate. What about tea? What about tea? Caffeine is a drug, don't you know? Sweet Mary Jane is my vice of choice, as you well know. Sure, I could see there was more to be made in shifting the white or the brown powder, as you so chose, but you see, my jam, it, it doesn't kill anyone. So yes, your facilitation is most definitely participation. <laughs> You're starting a war with me, George. And I'm trying to moonwalk with elegance here, but I'm finding it very fucking difficult. I don't fuck around with Puff. You send your man dry eye around my place to see if he can buy my business for a few beans. Yeah, you crossed the line. And that comes with a price. We raided one of my locations. You know the rules, George. What the fuck, fuck were you, you thinking? You raided one of my locations. What the fuck were you thinking? What the fuck were you thinking, George? That's surprising that he's letting him go. I can see you're feeling somewhat under the weather. <laughs> be fine in an hour or two. Long enough to consider your past indiscretions. I know he's saying, I can catch you off guard at any point, but... I can get to you in your own kitchen. There you go. I can get to you anywhere. But that might incite revenge that, you know, like, I get his point, but at the same time... Did without my blessing, but you did go behind my back and offer to buy his business. Yeah. There comes a point where the young succeed the old. Don't push me. But should we continue with our little story? It's a Matthew knows dry eye. So what? You play dry eye, and I <laughs> should be Matthew. Roll camera, action. He's so silly. That's a hell of a lens. Wow, wow. The last thing you need to do is attract any octopus. Octopus? What does that mean? It's, it's not, not exactly perfect. Translation. No, yeah. There's nothing wrong with the translation. Matthew's not that fluent. I'm going to back the fuck off, and I'm going to take it all. It's quite clear that they're not just Mahjong partners, are they? Hmm? Not all of that was clear, Fletcher. I'm approaching my climax. You are the dragon head now. Solidify your position. Oh my god, it's happening Hello, live. It's date night tonight. What if it's not him getting shot, but the person shooting him that gets shot? No. 
hang the fucking phone up. Who's there? Oh, he's warming up now, isn't it? At this point, I'm guessing that you didn't even know that Lord George was dead yet. Let alone what dry I was up to. Yeah, okay. Woo, okay, I was right. I don't know why I'm rooting for him, but... Oh, goody. Another bottle. <laughs> Hold on. You were there. I got it. Just watch the rock. I mean, you could just slow down a little bit. Paperweight. Funny you should say that. You see, this gun's only got two bullets, so I'm not going to fuck about illustrating its significance. You're going to have to trust me on that. The alternative is a little bit absolute. I'm going to have to check your grammar on that. Can't be just a little bit absolute. It either is or it isn't. It's like the word unique. It can't be very unique. Listen to me, cunt. You take one step forward, it'll be the last fucking step you ever take. <laughs> What? It's like it went in, but it didn't go in all the way. I fucking dare you. Oh my god, she's a good shot. She's a good shot. But now there's I no guess more bullets. That's your two bullets, eh? Well, that's a bit much. Hello, babe. So is that the story over now, Fletcher? All this, this whole build-up, was leading to this next part. It was Matthew who set this whole train of events. I thought we already knew that. But what he did not plan on, you see, was dry eye. Killing Lord George. Doesn't want to be subservient to anyone. This is how it's gonna play out. You're gonna back the fuck off. You've been in this paddling pool for two minutes. I've been swimming in the ocean with the sharks for 20 years. You will drown, and then my Mossad crabs will eat you. And this, my love, is why I want my hard-earned 20 million pounds. Now, how is he coming in there so boldly, not afraid of for his life? I'm impressed not only by your information, but by your imagination. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> that if anything happens to me, I, I do have my insurance policy in place. Everything will go to Big Dave, and from him to the public, and you, my love, will go to Mars. Oh, okay. Strong recommendation. Just pay up. He just told a story about how there are some of the best criminals in the country, and you're going to try to blackmail them? I don't see this ending well for him. Oh, he thinks he's very clever. Start with Big Dave. Right. Right. Oi! Spunk bubble, get rid of the fucking van! Rust does karate. <laughs> Careful, boys. Rust does karate. Sorry, he's boss. A, yeah. I'm only a blue belt. You melt. Look at her. They stripped him naked. Oh. I mean, he's scum. It's tabloids. And last night, I made a film with an impressively sized farmyard pig. Now, that little drug we gave you last night really loosened up your inhibitions, man. The only thing you need to do to stop this little creative expression from becoming a social media sensation is oh. any interest you have in the future of Mickey Pearson. Oh my god. I'm gonna leave you now to clean yourself up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Enjoy the show. Do not press play. Oh. Oh my god. Don't do it, bro. You're never gonna recover.
Is that who I think it is? Yeah, it certainly is. Squeal for me. And that's your doing. You can't unsee it once you've seen it, can you? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Nightmare fuel. That'll be with me forever. It's like Mr. Hands. If you're around in the early 2000s. I've got one more thing I need you to do. <sighs> that's insane. That is wild. So with the greatest respect, I'll do this one last thing for you. And then that's it. Three strikes no mail. I like you, Michael. You're a good chap. And if you want me to help you out of this hole you have found yourself in, I can pay you $100 million today. You seem to have mistaken me for some kind of a cunt. Who is this man? What's he got to do with anything that I'm talking about? I take it with that statement you are in denial of so said relationship with this frozen Chinaman? Business is business. Michael, there is a price indebted to me for the blood I've gotten on my hands, restoring order to the untidiness that you created. And that price, according to you, 400 minus 130, is $270 million. And I'm keeping the business while you are getting in the freezer. And you will make that transaction if you want to get out of the freezer. I am not emotional about the money. But I am emotional about the fact that someone laid their hands on my wife. My wife! You know, for that, I want a pound of flesh. It matters not to me where on your anatomy it is withdrawn from. Oh, is it waggy you again for breakfast, Raymond? Not the only one, darling. I'm not a mong. What do you think's in that, you fucking eejah? Of course we're aware of what Matthew was up to. I've been on to you for a long time, Fletcher. They're very similar, our jobs. Only I'm better at it than you are. <laughs> I knew when you came over that night that you'd only be there for half an hour. Buenos tardes, Raimundo. To tell me how clever you are and try to blackmail us. I also knew you couldn't resist a 1,500 pound single malt, an 80 pound Wagyu steak, and a state of the art smokeless Barbie that even keeps your feet warm. I love a Barbie. Because I needed to know about Matthew and Dry Eye. It took us a while to find your insurance policies, but it was made a lot easier after I planted a tracker in your shoe. Now, Fletcher, what were you saying? Prime time, what is it, son? Coach, we're gonna take care of this for you. What the fuck are you talking about? The Michael situation. We're gonna saw it. The young gentleman you kept in the freezer, ex-KGB, but he's extremely sad that his one and only son fell out of a window. How do you know all this? Because someone told them everything they want to know about Michael, and that someone is me. You see, get my 20 mils off Michael first, and then get paid again, double bubble. Why did you just look at your watch? Gonna get Michael when he comes out of his meeting at the fish market. And they are coming here. Don't fucking move. Dave? No, Dave. Oh. I see it all before me. A world of misery, the bonds retribution. I cannot shed my pain, my spirit's broken. <laughs> no will to live. What are they about to do? My body's. I need my freedom. Not your No shit. Killing the Russians. The car rolls to a stop. Smash cut to black. Titles. Think about that. Got a plane to catch. Good afternoon. Buenas tardes, Fletcher Mondo. Now I want you to play a game with me, Fletcher. He's got Fletcher. 
If you wish to be the king of the jungle, it's not enough to act like a king. You must be the king. Agent. Wow. That was so much fun. I really like that. Um, so many jump scares. Like, not in a horror sense, but so many scenes caught me by surprise like way more than I anticipated I really like the storytelling I like the different points of views and when you think it's wrapping up it's not fully wrapping up and yeah this was a lot of fun and especially you know like how in um they like I noticed that Guy Ritchie in the other two movies that I've seen Snatch and Lockstock he does this thing towards the end where clumsiness or hijinks or whatever get wrapped up into one story you know like in snatch when the car scene where you see the three different points of views during the timeline of the cars well it's just really great the way he had the toddlers come up towards the end like that story was coming together and and Colin Farrell's character with the gun in the backyard like just these incidents where the stories tie in but it's kind of like in a not accidental but in a way that benefits certain people but unintentionally I don't know I just think that's just really fun the way he tells story I know he's not the writer but the way the stories are told that way I had no idea what this movie was about and yeah I found it really entertaining I thought it was really well done it looked good the story was really captivating like it kept my attention the whole time this was really really fun all right that's it for now thanks for watching bye